Howdy, I'm Sam Feifel with SparPointGroup.com. I'm here with Craig Cleveland with ESRI. How are you doing, Craig? Good. Very good. Thank you. So uh, we're here at the SPAR International 2011. What, what's sort of the hottest topic of conversation? What are people asking you about the most? Well, uh, right now we're, we're seeing a lot of questions come in from a facility management uh, perspective and the idea of visualizing and understanding interior spaces for not only from the design to the build, but for the full life cycle of the building. And so visualizing system information in, in three dimensions is a mm -hmm. very important key. And so you know, how do you guys help them do that? What's your sort sure. of application? So here I have on the screen uh, our what's called arc scene. And we were just looking at a simple massing model of the building, but here's all the spaces uh, on the interior of the building being rendered by vacant versus occupied space. That's the type of thing that uh, building gotcha. owners and managers really like to see so they can understand what space is being utilized, how they might be able to reorganize that space and, and get people into those vacant spots. Yeah, I think uh, you know a lot of people think of mapping as an outdoor thing. Sure. How is you know sort of mapping moving indoors and right. how are you guys kind of helping people yeah. do that? Yeah, it's great. It, GIS has really been viewed as traditionally something that stops at the building and we're realizing that so much is going on inside the building, so we're helping them by integrating with things like BIM technologies, you know, interior scans, CAD, and sort of using our, our software as an integration point to be able to visualize that information and, and better understand it. So right now, what's the sort of biggest barrier that you're seeing customers have to kind of accomplishing what they want to accomplish? Sure, sure. Well, uh, I think, you know, the interoperability of softwares, we're really focusing a lot on being interoperable and, and trying to use open standards like for example, for BIM, you know, trying to use IFC as an open standard to be able to import that information and, and bring it into a GIS and, and put it back out as well. Gotcha. So, you know, looking 12 months, 18 months down, obviously not giving away any secret sure. sauce, <laughs> but, you know, what are the things that, you know, you've got sort of in the pipeline that people should get excited about? Well, I, I think that we're, we're really improving the ability to consume BIM models through that, that open and interoperable format. Uh, we're improving some of our 3D analysis tools and really sort of building that suite so people can kind of take a lot of those traditional 2D analyses and, and bring them inside the building. Well, cool. Well, thanks, Craig. Yeah. I really appreciate you being Welcome. with us today. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate and, it. And uh, thanks you all for watching. We'll see you next time.